All right, guys, welcome back to SNR Ballistics. Today, we're going to be looking at this 1892 Winchester. You guys have seen it before. If you watched our short we did on it, this one is a three digit serial number 682. Uh, the barrel has been replaced, unfortunately, um, but the bore is strong, so it's an accurate rifle. It does have a factory half magazine tube. Uh, it holds seven rounds, uh, well, seven plus one of. 3840 or 38 Winchester center fire. Uh, this one is already loaded, but today we're going to be shooting these uh, home loads I've got. They're just 180 grain uh, bullets. Obviously, the 3840 case uh, sitting on about 40 grains of triple seven. I didn't get real specific with the powder on these because they're just plinking rounds, but uh, you know, almost completely filled up the case and then just seated the bullet on it. So Let's go ahead and get these first rounds down range and then we'll talk about it. Get these earplugs in. I've got some better earplugs and I always forget to bring them down. Anyways, let's uh, put some rounds on target here. There we go. All that smoke coming out of there. Low black powder rounds. We're gonna go ahead and get this brass picked up real quick because this stuff ain't exactly easy to come by these days. So let's see, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Got all that picked up. Get that out of the way. So, 1892 Winchester. A little bit of the evolution, starting out, uh, Winchester had, well, the 1860 Henry. I don't have examples of all of them today, but the 1860 Henry, the 1866, and they come out in 1873 with the 1873. This is also 3840. You've seen this on the channel a few times, I'm sure. Uh, but we're going to take the side plates off and show you a little bit of the difference, uh, how the action was upgraded. So the 1873, again, came out in 1873. They came out with 3840 in 1874. This particular rifle was made in 1881. And this design was kind of uh, the king of uh, lever guns for you know 20 or 30 years back in its day. But how this worked, you got these toggle links here. And that's how your action moved. Oh, we dropped one of them out. Go ahead and pick him back up. Put it back in there. Hold on a minute. These things are a little loose in this gun. There we go. But anyways, well now that one's dropping out. Let me just stretch it back out here. <laughs> so whenever you go to shoot one of these 73s though, this is what keeps your bolt locked forward as the toggle links are extended. But if you shoot too hot of a load through them uh, toggle links, you can crack them or break them, uh, causing your bolt to you know, come back and obviously your action won't cycle. So let's throw these side plates back on there. You can see easily that uh, King's patent loading gate on there. Uh, I never realized, you know, well, not never, but when I was younger, I always thought that these had a little more uh, mechanism to them other than just a flat piece of metal. Uh, see if I can get this one lined up. This is the one that always kind of gives me fits lining it up. There we go. Uh, I do like the side plate design. It's much of a stronger action than the 92 has. The 73 is sure a lot easier to clean. Gotta be careful with this screw because it's just about stripped out. I don't want to over tighten that there and strip it more. All right, so there we go. But 73, because of that toggle link action, is a, I mean, it's very smooth. Now this 92 is also pretty smooth, not quite as much, but 
this is a pretty smooth rifle as well. So I'm not gonna disassemble this one, but what they did for the new locking mechanism, John Browning uh, had already designed the 1886 Winchester, which is the exact same action, basically just bigger. And uh, so he just scaled it down for Winchester. And so it's got these two locking lugs here. And you can see when you pull the lever down, they drop out and then your uh, levers uh, link to your bolter and it kicks it back. But, uh, you know, that's a strong action and most people will uh, agree that the 92 actually is stronger than the 94 action. Uh, but it's a really strong, really smooth rifle. Um, I should have brought the 94 out to compare it to, but you guys have seen that in its own video. Uh, but anyways, that's really kind of just a little brief history per se on the, the 92, uh, what it evolved from. So we're gonna go ahead and let Garrett put some rounds down range. Then I might shoot a bit more, get some more close-ups of this rifle. And then uh, we'll talk about our giveaway and we'll close her out. All right guys, taking a look today at the Winchester 1892. And 3840. The 3840 round is a pretty neat round to shoot and to reload. Um, 3840 is not really uh, manufactured too much today so thankfully Houston's gotten into some reloading and we're able to shoot these guns and make these videos for you. Uh, while we have the 73 out here it's nice to do a little comparison between the two. Houston showed you the difference between the actions. Uh, if you shot uh, one or the other uh, let us know what your preference is. Uh, personally I like the uh, 73 a lot. <clears throat> it's a very smooth action along with the 92 as well but uh, Aesthetics, I just prefer the 73 more. But yeah, uh, we're going to load up the 92 here with these uh, reloads that Houston's done. We've got some, these are the reloads, and then this Peter's box right here, we've got a little bit of uh, some original factory loads. But we won't shoot those. We, we just might keep those. But yeah, let's just load up six here put one in get that going in there and put one more and we'll just make it seven real quick all right guys and as he mentioned this is not the original barrel as you can see it's got uh different sights on here uh different markings right here and uh, we'll just compare that to the markings here on the tang but yeah uh nevertheless it's still really cool gun with it being a three digit serial number and uh you know barrels can always be changed if we ever come across a period correct one let's go ahead and put some rounds down range wait for the smoke to clear on some of these One more here, I think. I don't know, one more. There we go. Got all that smoke coming out. Makes for a nice little old Western scene there. But yeah, uh, this gun is very smooth. You know, uh, 3840 has a little bit more kick to it in this gun than it does the 73, with the 73 being quite a bit heavier um and personally i think i kind of like the 73 a bit more because of its weight and this one actually has the shotgun style butt plate which is uh in my opinion a little bit more comfortable than the crescent but that just may because i'm maybe holding this a little bit wrong so it tends to hurt a little bit more for me on these but like we said guys both actions are smooth both actions are strong you know, Winchester, they did a really great job over the years of producing different lever actions for for us. And, you know, it's really nice to have these examples, uh, especially uh, in these great a shape. You know, having this three-digit serial number is, is just amazing. Um, 
you know, you probably don't see those very much. And uh, Houston was very fortunate to be able to pick one of these up. Uh, so we really do appreciate the craftsmanship that went into these guns. And, you know, they don't make them like they did back then. And that's for sure. So I'll let Houston go ahead and do a couple closing statements. And uh, we're going to talk about this giveaway here real quick. This is a, a knife that was given to us to give away here Let's see if I can do this without ripping the box Oops. there we go here just a little browning pocket knife uh, we're gonna give this away at 750 subscribers I believe we're at 726 something like that but yeah just a nice little pocket folder you can have with you at all times uh, nice little red handle there but yeah uh, so if you want to have a chance to be able to win this just go ahead and uh, subscribe to the channel make sure to share it with your friends have them subscribe if they like our content that way they are uh, entered in to win this uh, we're going to be doing a special video with the browning high power and the browning knife giveaway so we'll see you on that one thank you all right guys uh, to close out the video i might put just a couple more rounds down range once you start shooting these old guns uh, you don't really want to stop you know you know what actually well, we'll put this one through the 92. Then we might put a couple through the 73 since we got it out. Oop, right off the edge. We got this out. Now the mainspring in this, uh, last I had shot it, was acting like the mainspring may have been a tad weak. Uh, I got a couple of light primer strikes, uh, which, you know, figures 140 year old mainspring so uh we'll see how it goes here there we go you see this thing's got a good bit less recoil than the 92 just because of the weight i mean if you compare the size of these receivers here that kind of shows you uh, just how much they scaled this rifle down from the 73 but the 73 is still a great uh gun to shoot did get that little black target Put one back on the silhouette. There we go. So, there we have it. Uh, two great Winchesters. Uh, I know the focus of this video was on the 92. Uh, so we'll show you last few close-ups here. This 92 is just an excellent little rifle. Uh, you know, it's not in the greatest shape. I'm not sure exactly what happened here. This was like this when I got it. it looks like something may have been mounted on there at one point and it got cut off I don't really know um, but again this is just a uh, an excellent rifle um, fun to shoot good strong action smooth action and with this one being a three digit serial number made in 1892 uh, that just adds to the value I mean you had to pay for that a little bit but uh, I mean not that much extra but uh, adds to the Oh, uh, just when you're shooting it, it adds to the uh, experience, you know, just knowing you're shooting a 92 Winchester made in 1892. So that's all we really got for you today. I want to thank our friends at Haskell Gun and Pawn uh, for the help we get. Got that brass. Uh, I want to ask you to like, subscribe, uh, share, comment. Uh, you know, let us know if you have one of these rifles. Uh, if you do have one of these rifles, which you prefer, uh, we'll probably go ahead and put a pull up, pull up between the uh, 92 and the 73, see which one you guys like more. Uh, so make sure to go vote on that. Uh, you know, let your friends, coworkers, family, uh, people you don't like, everyone uh, know about our channel and our videos. Because even if uh, you don't like them, then uh, maybe they can benefit from here. And, uh, you know, talk to each other in the comments. We always like to see stuff like that, people having uh, good conversations. And we'll, uh, that's all we got today, so we'll see you next time.